Welcome to HydraMaster in our continuing series of operations and maintenance videos. Today we feature the Titan 575 and we'll be going through both the operation portion and it, as we go through this we'll also touch on maintenance items as far as oil changes and, and those types of items. We're going to start here with the front panel. We'll go through the front panel and show the gauges, the dials, and what they do. And as we go around the machine, then we will highlight the major components. First of all, on this 575, and this is our first, is a keyless start. So we don't need to have a key to get this going. We do have a protector here so you don't accidentally do it. But you can push this to start. We have our choke control right here for cold starts. We also have our throttle control right here which is a turn to lock throttle control. It doesn't take much pressure to pull it out. You don't have to reef on it to get it out. Turn and lock it. And one of the things I might add here with this throttle control is during the operation of the 575 we want it to be at full throttle at all times. So don't try to back the pressure down or do any of the controls that you may think you're doing by slowing the engine down. It's not doing the engine any good to have it running at partial. So keep that in mind. An important part on our front panel is our hour meter. Hour meter keeping track of, of certainly how many hours the machine has been running, but we can also use the hour meter to keep track of our maintenance schedule. So many of our um, maintenance schedules are set on how many hours a particular unit is running, whether it's the blower, whether it's a high pressure pump, whether it's the engine, we can keep track. Some weeks, some months, <coughs> excuse me, will be busier than others, so you can keep track of your hours here, and that can relay into our maintenance. The next item we have here is a gauge. It's our pressure gauge, so this will be able to be dialed in for, depending on what you're doing, whether it's carpet or in the case of hard surface, or also in the case of use of doing um, fabrics where you want to dial that pressure down, we are going to use this knob down here is going to dictate what our pressure will read up on this gauge up here. We'll get down to that in a minute. The next item we have is our vacuum gauge here. In the vacuum gauge we also have a note underneath it. The vacuum maximum wants to be 12 inches of lift. Uh, it's critical. Is you If you try to increase that uh, you will be able to, but it's not going to be a benefit to the blower. It's going to make the blower be working hard, harder than it needs to. Um, so 12 inch max, let's watch that gauge. That gauge will be um, uh, predicated upon the pressure relief valve on the waste tank. Uh, next item we have here is our temperature gauge, water temperature gauge. And it will be uh, uh, affected by the dial we have here, the dial from warm to hot. As you move that along, the gauge is going to read accordingly, and that is going to be um, obviously having control of that is critical. Again, going back to whether we're doing hard surfaces, whether we're doing carpets um, or fabrics, we can dial it down for fabrics. You can raise it up for your hard surfaces. We have our pump clutch switch here, which indicates we have pump on in the heat mode at the top. And the heat mode is going to be for lower pressures, of, um, you're doing carpets, doing fabrics, uh, and the lower pressures. You have the pump on with no heat, which will allow you to raise your water pressure up higher. And then you have your pump switch off if you're doing an evacuation job where you're, all you're doing is, is using the blower and the vacuum system and you don't need the pump. This will save the pump and the clutch uh, from having to run all day long in, in a case when you don't really need it. We have the auto pump out mode here, which is going to be your APO if you've got that on your waste tank. It's already pre-wired. You can have that on for that. And you also have your pump in system. For those of you that have a fresh water tank on board your van and um, get your fresh water that way rather than pulling it in from the building or from a home, you've got your pre-wired pump-in system here. Down below is for those of you who do not have a fresh water tank on board and you're running it from a home or a business, this is where your hookup will be for your fresh water supply. 
The Titan 575 has an option for a pressure washing feature on it. The pump that comes with the machine has the capabilities of running 2000 PSI. Uh, that is not possible um, in a heated mode to protect the, the components we allow for 12